Happy endings, no, they never bored me. Happy endings, they still don't bore me. But they they have a way, a way to make you pay and to make you toe the line. No, I, I sever my ties because I'm so clever, but clever ain't wise. Uh, yeah, facts. It's showtime, folks. Welcome to another episode of Into the Music. This is where you hear great music, music that you probably don't hear on other channels, reaction channels, but uh, great all the same. Um, yeah, and it's cool. I mean, I'm reacting to a lot of new music, and it is just, it's been a revelation for me over the last year and a half. Um, actually, even longer than that. In October, this October will be two years we're doing this channel. So that'd be pretty cool. We'll do a celebration kind of. Uh, episode uh, when that comes but anyway in the meantime we got a lot more music to take care of to react to and i got folks like uh, wonder boy wonder boy 75 wonder boy has been a steady uh, patron of mine on my Kofi channel go check out the link below uh click on that link and it'll show you and tell you how to actually guarantee to request a song i'll guarantee reaction to it can't say the same for all the other stuff that's being dropped on the channel every day even though i appreciate it and it's breadcrumbs towards other music and other bands i've never heard before in the past so that's cool but anyway guaranteed kofi that said wb75 you are requesting uh that i listen to baby shambles um and so I think I've heard of that band name before. Um, I think it's linked to the Libertines, right? I think it's one of the singers uh, might um, have been part of that band. And I think it came after the Libertines, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, just doing the homework on the Libertines, the few songs that I've done from them. Uh, so yeah, so I could be wrong on that, but and I'll pull information up on the other side. So Baby Shambles and the song is um, F Forever. Uh, so it's the F word and forever. So never heard of the song. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, what is Wonder Boy getting me into? I trust Wonder Boy. So I will now go. I'm trying to think of a superlative. Uh, it's just a heavy grinding bass. Mm.
Yeah, I would definitely F with this. So uh, if I'm right on the whole Libertines connection, it might be it might be Pete Doherty. Do I have the last name right? It might be Pete who uh, was in that band that came after the Libertines. If I'm right on that. You know, there's this phenomenon, I call it, uh, where these songs, all these songs that are sort of being played um, in t- it's today's music, and then there's these versions that are slowed down. My my sons are big into that. Um, these songs that you know you normally hear bouncing and you know and jiggling and all like that, and then all of a sudden, like I hear this song that's like being played. My sons and I'm like, "What's that? Oh, it's that song, but it's just slow down." I'm like, you know, and, and and so I I could see where this would be a slow down version of a Libertine song, like something that the Libertines would come out with some years ago. You know, maybe off their first album, um, and then just slow down. Uh, it's really amazing, you know. So, definitely Libertine's connection. Um, I mean, his voice. I think this is the typical lead singer. I think that the two guys, right, the two main guys, Pete and I forgot the other guy's name. They would trade off vocals, I believe. Um, and so I think, yeah. So this is clearly Pete. Um, yeah, but this was pretty cool. You know, what I love about this too is. You know, there was a band many years ago called The Replacements. And it just, this had like that sort of feel, you know, it's just, it's, it's kind of, it's, a, it's, it's kind of disjointed in a way. Um, but that's, the, that's sort of an intentional, that's just kind of the style and the feel of the song. Um, but there's, but it doesn't mean that, you know, I mean, the band's tight, you know, and it's playing, it's great. It's great music, but it just has, it's just played in a style in a way that almost comes off like it's kind of a little messy, a little disjointed, but I think that's the intent. You know, I think that think that's the appeal too. Um, yeah. You know, there's a beauty to the song too. It was really, it's really interesting, you know, and as it went on, actually the first 25 seconds or so, there's like a little descending kind of note thing going on. And that was cool. And yeah, the song just grew on me as it went along. So I'm really curious about, um, Baby Shambles, you know, is it a band that's still going on? Is Pete still in, in, in it? You know, how many albums did they put out? The whole thing. Uh, so let me pull up. I have information pulled up. Let me actually get into. So let's get into the band first. Baby Shambles. The band was formed by Pete Doherty, lead vocals, rhythm guitar uh, during a hiatus from the Libertines. Uh, as of 2013, the band includes Mick Whitnall, Drew McConnell, and Adam Fisek. Baby Shambles had released three albums, okay, three, Down in Albion, 2005, Shot as Nation, 2007, and sequel to the prequel, 2013, uh, three EPs and a number of singles. So that's been their collection of music. And so it was 2003 when Pete was banned from playing with the Libertines until he could overcome his substance abuse problems. So as a response, Pete formed an alternative band and recruited former Libertine Steve Bedlow as a vocalist. Initially, Doty planned on calling his new band 
T Libertines because of the band's Yorkshire connection. The lineup of the band at the time consisted mainly of Yorkshire men. This is all on Wiki. Uh, on the night Baby Shambles' first gig was scheduled to take place, Doty was arrested for burgling Carl Baratz. Is that how you let, pronounce the last name? Uh, Carl's flat. After he was charged and released, his friend Dean Fragile, or Fragili, organized a new gig at the Tap and Tin. The performance received mixed reviews. It just goes on. Boy, so Pete was actually sentenced to six months imprisonment for his crime. Did I know that from the past research with the Libertines? His sentence was later reduced on appeal to two months. And he was released from prison and rejoined the Libertines uh, and sidelined the Baby Shambles project. But then he found time to record the band's first single, Baby Shambles, 2004. So it just goes on. I could read this whole thing. It's a lot. Um, I do have information pulled up about the song. And this was released as a single on August, uh, in August 2005. It's the highest chart and single, peaking at number four on the UK singles chart. It was negatively targeted due to its controversial title and lyrics, but it was eventually released and has become the closing number in the band's live sets. In May 2007, NME, New Musical Express, placed F Forever at number 24 on its list of the 50 greatest indie anthems ever. That's phenomenal. That's that's wild. While in 2014, the same publication named it the 245th greatest song of all time. And yeah, and I usually I'm usually in alignment with New New Musical Express, uh, their rankings on the whole thing. So yeah, this is cool. Um, talks about the video. I'm not gonna really getting get into that. Let me get into the lyrics. And uh, yeah, here we go. They sound really, really, really um, interesting. I mean, just by the title name. It's one and the same, one and the same. Oh, so what's the use between death and glory? I can't tell between death and glory. Happy endings, no, they never bored me. Happy endings, they still don't bore me. But they, they have a way, a way to make you pay and to make you toe the line. No, I, I sever my ties because I'm so clever. But clever ain't wise. Uh, yeah, facts. Uh, F forever, if you don't mind. Oh, F forever. If you don't mind, don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Oh, what's the use between death and glory? I can't tell between death and glory. New labor and Tory. Uh, okay, purgatory and no happy families. One and the same, one and the same. No, it's not the same. It's not supposed to be the same. You know about that way the way they make you pay and the way they make you toe the line. I'm seven, my ties. So he's talking about society. He's talking about a way, the way you get sort of, um, you try to, you know, how you find yourself being forced to almost fit in, uh, toe the line, um, get with the program. Uh, and so, yeah, how do you buck up against that? How do you go against the grain? Um, it's not easy. Uh, and the way they make you toe the line, I've severed my ties. Oh, you're so clever. You're so clever. But you're not very nice. So F forever. Oh, I'm stuck forever in your mind. Your mind. Your mind. Go ahead and know about that way. There's a lot of lyrics. In, you know, there was a Libertine song. Which, which, which one? It was one Libertine song that I did where it was like two minutes and 30 seconds. It just seemed like. I think it was a two minute and 30 second song. And yet when I read the lyrics, it was like reading War and Peace. <laughs> That's like, how do you fit all those lyrics in, in like in such a short period of time? And it's doing the same, although this one was four minutes and 40 something seconds. So so at least this one I could see. The, the other one was like a mind blower. Uh, go ahead and know about that way to make you feel like shit and make you pay and to make you toe the line, line. I sever my tie. Oh, and I'll never sever the ties and F forever. If you don't mind, see, I'm stuck forever. Oh, I'm stuck in your mind. Your mind, your mind, your mind. They'll never play this on the radio. Oh, they'll never play this on the radio. Uh, well, apparently from Wiki, they did. So there are some surprises to life, right? Yeah. Um, this is not a surprise, though, that I like this. This is a cool song. WP75 has great taste. He's shown that now over the last 
almost two years now. This is pretty cool stuff. WB, you never, you never uh, disappoint me. You never, you never fail to uh, please me, and you never disappoint me. You know all that stuff. You know all the accolades going in with WP seventy five. Uh, this is a cool one. I'm really into knowing more from Baby Shambles. So folks out there, give me some breadcrumbs uh, in your comments, and I will see hopefully every one of you on the next episode of Into the Music. <laughs>